hop right in y'all because I've already started. I'm actually doing this on TikTok as well because I figured y'all need these tips. <laughs> and so I'm here, we're here. This is my updated wash and go uh, routine. So I already shampooed and conditioned and detangled and added my leave-in on in the shower. Now the leave-in that I added though was the Color Wow spray. So it isn't like a heavy, thick, creamy leave-in or anything like that. My hair actually didn't need it. So I just went in with this and I only have the travel size. I should probably get a bigger one now because I ran out of my other one. But yeah, I sprayed that on and then I knotted each one of them. So I have five sections. We'll talk about why it's five and not four a little bit later. But as y'all can see, the curls are coming out so good. So I want to go ahead and do this section while it's still out before it dries up. I still like to do small sections though. Like I feel like if you're doing big sections, it's going to look like you did big sections. <laughs> you really can't do that if you really want it to last. Always put your products at your roots and then work it down. When you add your products to the root and then you pull it down, it's gonna allow the product to fully saturate in the area that you put it first. It will apply it to the rest of the hair as you're doing this motion. I The pancake motion, I think that's what they call it. Well, basically, I just call it smushing the product into my hair. And when you're doing it like this, you will feel if the ends of your hair has enough product or not. And then you can go in accordingly. I do this with my shampoos, conditioners, every set of products throughout this entire process. I have been doing it this way. Like I will not start putting products in the middle of my hair. After I went in with the foam, I'm going to go in with my Wet Line Extreme. I love the blue one. I tried to use the clear one. It does not give the same results. I don't know if the blue one just works best with this foam. Ah, but I'm going to add it to the roots. I just added it to the roots. Now you want to smooth it at the roots and just continue to smooth. And when this area has enough gel, it's going to go down here and then you're going to continue to pull it down and you're smushing it too. So all the additional products will go to the rest of the hair and you could just keep doing this until you get to the ends. I'm going to show y'all right here. You could tell that the gel ends right here. Like, I have enough gel here, but I don't have enough gel here. So that's when you go in with a little bit more product, right? Just take a little bit, you go from here and continue. Then it's smushing that in. And then once you get to the ends, let's see. It doesn't feel like I have enough gel on my ends, but I feel like it's enough. It's enough now. Like if it doesn't feel like it, keep going, keep doing this motion. But eventually, look at that. Everything's fully coated now. So now that everything's fully coated, now I'm gonna shingle. And I'm probably gonna do it in bigger sections cause I wanna clump my hair together and it's gonna give me like a thicker curl look as opposed to how my curls normally look if I was to just rake it. That's what it's looking like. And it's gonna curl up and give the most perfect defined curls y'all. And y'all see how it's like flowing? That's because they're all individuals. If I was to rake this through, they would not flow like this, babes. It's a difference. It wouldn't flow because it wouldn't be separated at the roots, you know? So I'm just going to continue and do this all over my head. Foam. I like to do like two pumps, depending on the section size. Because you don't want to waste product. And then apply it at the roots. And you see how dry my hair is getting? That's because I'm talking. And that's why I keep this plastic cap on because if I keep my hair out, it'll be done dried out. Because you want it to be wet. And as y'all can tell, I haven't used water once. So I'm just working that foam in. As you can see, the foam stops like right here. You want to see? want to close up? You see how the product isn't here, but the product is here? That means I need a little bit more foam. So I'm going to do just a little bit more. Start it here. And now... Think we're cooking with something. We got a little of that gel. Put it at that root. I like to kind of get the other side too, especially if they thick at the roots. You might have to put way more product than you think, y'all. I'm telling you, if it's thick and then smushing it in like this, like this is the best. A little bit of tension. Y'all can't really see at the roots, but like a little bit of tension and some smoothening. Work it. Work that product all the way to the ends. If you wanna make a bigger curl, you wanna do like more gel. If you don't care about doing a thick curl, then you won't need as much gel. 
I like for my hair to look just like this before I start shingling. Like I need it to look smooth. If there is a frizz in sight, we're starting over. If you see frizz at any point in your process of doing your hair, you wash and go. That is your red flag that something is wrong. Do not continue to move on and gel your hair if there's still frizz. It's all about the technique, friend. So that's the first section done don't twirl it too many times or it will start to look like finger coils you don't want to twirl it around your hair that many times I took like an hour break because I was hungry so like my hair is kind of dry in the back <laughs> but whatever just look at this and I got to do this whole front, but we're going to make this work, hopefully. Now I'm working on this middle section. I've already done like this portion. And y'all can see the curl difference. I think it's just the braiding my hair so much this year really stretched it. Continuing with the foam first and then my gel next. The wet line is gone, you guys. So we gotta switch to Eco Stylo. This is the Eco Stylo music, by the way. I decided to chime in because I didn't tell y'all about the whole entire purpose of this video. You take the middle section of your hair and you go towards your face. So this is why we do five sections. That middle section, as you can see, I'm gonna bring it towards my face and I am still shingling. I really don't like this Eco Stylo gel no more, y'all. It just don't do as good as wet line. What does wet line got in it? I'm pretty sure it's still gonna eat, but it's like, dang. I feel the difference. We are done, but I'm gonna say, do not use Eco Styler for this method. It was not working. I had to go back in with my wet line, but you can tell there is a little bit of frizz up here, but I did go over with the wet line that I had. I had to literally look at my hair and be like, okay, is there any frizz? It's probably, yeah. Like this is a little frizz. I was just taking a little bit of wet line and then just going right on top of that. Now you can see there is no frizz. So that's just what I was doing. But the wet line just works best for this. Now I'm just scrunching up my front before it dries to make sure it's really, really curly. As you can see, when I open it up, it still looks good. You could still eat with a middle part, easy. Even though I came down this way and I didn't do a middle part, you can tell that this middle part is so good. I will be back once it's dry and then we're gonna stretch it out. So this is after it all dried. Apparently my microphone died. But if you did everything correctly, you should have really curly ends and that's what you're looking for because we are going to stretch the hair. And once we stretch the roots, the ends are gonna be so curly and it's just gonna give a big voluminous look. This is how I do my hair. I love to do my hair like this. Something about the texture, it just looks so good to me, y'all. Look, like the waves from the roots into the ends and the ends are so curly. All I did was flip my hair a little bit. We got volume, we have definition, we have movement. Okay, get into it. <laughs> I cannot tell y'all how shocked but impressed I was with this wash and go. I had to get up and do a little dance. I had to, like, baby, I am feeling my hair. We are one. Ain't that what Lion King said? Man, look at how pretty it looks. It's fl It lays though. You see how it's laying in my face, but not really? I love the look, this is my new look. I really hope this helps someone out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video.